Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China last week. Chinese researchers used artificial intelligence to tackle one of the deadliest cancer types. Pancreatic cancer is often called the king of cancers because of its relatively low survival rates. Unfortunately, early symptoms can be vague, making it very difficult to detect and treat it at an early age. So the patients often get diagnosed at later stages. On the other hand, existing early screening tools for pancreatic cancer are generally poor in accuracy, which leads to many cases of misdiagnosed and unnecessary panic. Now, scientists from institutions including Alibaba Damo Academy have made a breakthrough in developing screening tools. Their AI model is called Panda, which is short for Pancreatic Cancer Detection with Artificial Intelligence, and it enables large-scale early screening for pancreatic cancer by analyzing routine CT scans, which pinpoint pancreatic anomalies. Unlike expensive enhanced imaging, Panda uses widely available non-contrast CT data. It applies deep learning to scrutinize texture and morphology within scans that humans would miss and goes on to identify lesions and classify disease stages. The team said the specificity of the early screening model reached 99.9%, .9%, meaning that there is only one false positive case in every thousand tests. Meanwhile, its sensitivity, that is its ability to detect pancreatic tumors, could reach 92.9%, beating the mean radiologist performance by 34.1%. Testing on over 50,000 patients, Panda flagged 31 overlooked cases, including early stage tumors. The researchers shared an example of patient C. Patient C's annual physical exams, including chest CT scans, has shown nothing abnormal. However, seven months later, the patient's CT images were retrospectively evaluated using Panda, which detected a 95 probability of a pancreatic tumor. After a multidisciplinary review, the medical team decided to record the patient for an MRI exam. And it was concerning, so the surgeon obtained consent from the patient and operated successfully. The lab results confirmed an early-stage pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor, the same disease that took the life of Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. Patient C was the first actual case of this tumor that the study successfully detected with Panda analysis. Beyond enhancing detection rates, Panda also upgrades diagnostic quality to give patients the best odds. Apart from this, in October 2021, AI plus CT scans outperform experienced physicians in early detections of esophageal cancer in terms of both sensitivity and specificity. The team's deep learning model also accurately defined 42 organs at risk from head and neck cancer, and that could help reduce complications from radiotherapy. This year, Damo Academy has continued announcing favorable results in their medical AI in recognizing and diagnosing various cancer types, such as liver tumor, gastric cancer, and beyond, demonstrating the technology's growing potential across diverse applications. While the AI model showed promise in detecting pancreatic cancer, the researchers cautioned that further evaluation is still needed before it could be widely adopted in clinical practice. The world's biggest solar power plant at a single location has been completed, and it is in the UAE, constructed by Chinese contractors. The massive 2 gigawatt facility spans 20 square kilometers of desert outside Abu Dhabi and can power up to 200,000 households. It is built in just three years with the efforts of 4,500 local employees. The Eldafa Solar Photovoltaic Plant has 4 million bifacial panels and cutting-edge technology supplied by China. It was developed under the UAE's Clean Energy Ambition and China's Belt and Road Initiatives. Approximately 2.4 million tons of carbon dioxide is saved per year, which is equivalent to removing over half a million cars from the roads. By mid-November, the solar farm had already produced 3.6 billion kilowatt-hour of clean electricity. 
It was also expected to increase the proportion of clean energy in the Emirates' overall consumption to over 13%, which contributes to UAE's target of net zero emission by 2050. And it is also the world's most affordable solar power price ever, that is 1.3 US cents per unit. And this is just one of the BRI Energy projects. According to reports, China has green development partnership with over 30 countries under its Belt and Road Infrastructure Program. Others, such as the Unit 2 and 3 of the Karachi nuclear power plant in Pakistan, had generated nearly 20 billion kilowatt hours of clean electricity. Putting the figures into perspective, this is the power that meets the needs of 2 million people in a year. Looking forward, we can expect more renewable projects on developing green and low carbon energy around the world, especially in developing countries. China is providing developing countries with agriculture monitoring capabilities through its Advanced Crop Watch system. It aims to break Western control over global crop data. It has been helping developing countries gain access to monitoring tools and technologies to better inform their management of food production and prices. CropWatch was originally developed in 1998 by researchers at the Chinese Academy of Science to monitor crops domestically. Because at the time, most countries relied on two major remote sensing monitoring systems run by the United States and the European Union to forecast fluctuations in global food markets. But the reports did not provide access to the original data. So China developed CropWatch to have a more independent understanding of the domestic agricultural market. And most countries, especially developing countries, do not have the technology or resources to establish their own global crop yield monitoring system. So, over the past two decades, it has been expanded into a global initiative assisting many countries around the world. CropWatch analyzes satellite imageries and ground measurements to provide insights into crop yields, environmental changes, and agricultural trends. It is cloud-based and allows shareholders to access without additional investment on hardware and software. Integrates a variety of indicators at global, national and regional levels. It monitors indicators such as rainfall, crop area, land use intensity, air temperature and others. It analyzes agricultural production and conditions in countries responsible for over 80% of the world's staple grain supply. More importantly, it is an open system that allows users to access transparent information. According to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, the biggest advantage of the system is that it can be customized, allowing countries to generate different indicators based on their specific needs. The head of Crop Watch, Wu Bingfang from the Chinese Academy of Science, emphasized that food security requires transparency of information. His team works with UN partners to provide personalized training and system tailored to countries spanning Asia, Africa, and beyond. Mozambique had previously relied on agriculture monitoring mainly from other nations, but found CropWatch customized system to be far more precise. It enabled monitoring down to regional administrative level within the country, and this has allowed Mozambique to issue monthly crop monitoring reports during rainy seasons. When the flood hit in 2019, local authorities had the data to coordinate disaster response. Similarly, in Mauritius, a country that imports about 75% of its food, this technology helped to predict climate shocks and global yield dynamics to reduce risk and uncertainties. Currently, CropWatch reports has been downloaded by stakeholders in over 173 countries. The FAO further emphasized that improving information access is crucial for mitigating distortions in the global food market, and CropWatch reduces fluctuations in the food market. And that is all for today's Threshold. We hope you like this new section on science technology in China. As usual, we welcome your feedback and thoughts.